The other tool that I like to use is this collaborative tool. And it's kind of fun because you can ask students to go out and trim their own videos. And then when they insert the video that they trimmed after after you kind of close it, you the program will automatically stitch all of the little video clips that they put together, which is kind of fun and kind of cool. Mm. So um, I was doing health class uh, last quarter. And one of the things we were studying in mental health were like um, mental disorders and we were talking about bipolar and schizophrenia, but then phobias came up and I said, okay, how about if I'll, because you know, once you start on a topic like that, all the kids want to talk about, oh, have you heard of this phobia? Have you heard of that phobia? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the side, the conversation can get sidetracked. So I was like, hey, if you guys are interested in phobias, here's your challenge. Everybody go out there and find the one that you think is the weirdest or the strangest. And I want you to find a video and I want you to trim it and I want you to share it on this link. And then they did that and then then there's the montage of you know watching the video which was super fun and then for my science class I we were studying volcanoes and I said okay you know everybody loves to see a volcano erupt I, I'm challenging all of you to find the coolest volcano eruption you can and trim a video and share it with me and then it will get stitched together so you know those are a couple of the ways that I've used it and so it's just been fun it's been different you know the kids love to contribute and then it's always interesting to see everybody's different perspectives and you as a teacher get to see what what they've turned in and if you want you can even give them a grade on that um, so if, if you want to give them a grade on turning in their video clip you can um, or you can just you know share out the final link the nice thing about it is if a couple of students pick the same video you can choose to not have one be in the stitch so you, you don't get the same one happen twice so that's kind of nice too and again the students are then doing the heavy lifting and all you need to do is check it make sure you like the videos you can reorder them and you can delete the ones you don't want and click give me the link and you know you're done in a minute so it's pretty fun pretty slick